with this mirror, generations of men and looked in it and denied the results that it's telling them. That's one use. The other use is, I can direct its energy to create steam. Stay tuned on Steam Culture. I'll show you how that happens. So as I did my research, I found out that solar boilers really became popular in the 1980s because of a project from the U.S. Department of Energy called Solar One. And they wanted to find out if they could mass produce solar energy from a solar boiler and create electricity. And, and Solar One got it all started. Well, since then, obviously, bigger and better projects have come along. But we need to first understand how the solar boiler works. Well, it's pretty kind of common sense, obviously, with a lot of smart people really scaling this thing up. But you have these fields and fields of mirrors, which are called heliostats. and they use complicated algorithms to calculate the sun's angle, and they direct the sunlight reflected off the heliostat up to a large tower. And on top of that large tower is a large boiler called a solar receiver. It's filled with water, obviously, because it's a boiler. Well, the heat from that sunlight will boil that water, and create steam, and then they're gonna send the steam down to a generator, which is gonna spin a turbine and create electricity, which we've seen that before in several other episodes. And that's a pretty cool setup, and it's a big, big, big scale, stuff I didn't really understand until I started to uh, investigate it. So at the end of the day, guys, it's a boiler, and it needs a heat source. So like this one uses you know, fossil fuels. Instead of that, solar boilers take the power of the sunlight and direct it and create steam from that renewable source. Now, one of the largest, if not the largest, installation ever is called Ivanpah, which is located in the Mojave Desert in California. 175,000 plus heliostats. Just a field of mirrors. If you guys can see these pictures, I don't know if they do it justice. I would love to see this live, but it is one of the largest installations right here in the US. So thanks for joining me for this week for our episode on solar boilers. Pretty neat concept, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, join me on social media, come find me because we're everywhere. Join me next Friday and I'll see you for the new episode. Enjoy the sunshine.